Welcome back to Cinema Capsule. I'm Sophia, and in a few moments you're going to listen an awesome tale narrated by me. The film starts and we are shown a murderer, who takes out the corpse from the car and buries while cutting it. Now moving further, we are shown a boy Jack at the same place he was asking for a lift from the cars on the unknown road. There was a signboard around Jack, written that there is a danger and not to give a lift to any unknown person here. Now why was it written? No one knew this but because of this, no car driver gives a lift to Jack. Jack was slowly moving forward on a deserted road when he sees a car coming in front of him, in which the boy and the girl were fighting and they stopped their car on one side. Jack goes to them. He felt that the boy was hitting the girl sitting in the car so he takes him out and starts hitting him because of this. The boy takes the girl out of his car, saying that the girl who is with me is a psycho. Saying this, he left the girl there. The girl then tells her name to Jack Veronica. She says, I often come to this place, I love to roam around. Here, they sit at one place and play a game. Jack again tries to stop the car, but still, no car was ready to stop. He tells Veronica that there are strange people, they are not ready to help anyone. Veronica says maybe they are afraid anything can happen here, and I have heard that a killer lives here who kills people like this. Veronica says I am alone, I have no one in this world. It was night by the time I took a lift, but no one had given them a lift yet. They set fire here and started talking. Veronica takes out a bottle of alcohol from her bag and gives it to Jack, and now she asks, where is your bag? To which he says, I came here for important work. My luggage was stolen from near the train. Now I only have a passport with me through which I can go from here. She takes out her diary and writes something. She tore that page and gave it to Jack. When he looks behind it, there was Veronica's sign. Looking at it, he asks, what is this? I was just practicing to write my name nothing more than this. They went to sleep while talking like this and in the morning, Jack sees Veronica wasn't with him. He was a little worried. When he moves ahead and sees Veronica was bathing nearby in a small canal. She also tells Jack to come inside, and he also started bathing with her. There was a good friendship between them and now after bathing, they move further with their luggage but still no one gives them a lift, moving a little ahead. A man stops his car and tells his name Grizzard and he was ready to give them a lift. Veronica was not very happy to see him and sits in his car sadly. Grizzard says my house is nearby, you guys have to stay at my house tonight as the morning appears. I will drop you at the same place where you want to go. After traveling a little, Grizzard's house arrives, and they see that his house was big and their welcome is done by Grizzard's wife. She first shows Jack his room and asks him to rest. On the other hand, Grizzard, who brought them with him, shows Veronica her room but still she was not talking to him properly. Jack comes to his room and lies on the bed because in order to take a lift, he was tired of walking. He takes a little rest and during this, he falls asleep. When he awakes, he sees that it is evening. He sees a box lying in the same room on which Grizzard was written, and when Jack opens it, there were pictures of Grizzard and his wife who had this house and pictures of two children in which there was a boy and a girl. When Jack saw those pictures, he realized that Grizzard also has two children, but till now he had not seen any child in the house. Anyway, after eating dinner at night, Jack went to his room. When he comes to meet Veronica later, she was smoking a cigarette on the terrace of her room. Jack sat with her and started talking to her. Veronica tells him about herself, says I also had a brother. In childhood, we were playing hide and seek then my brother came under the truck because of which he died. I also don't have parents and I am lonely. Hearing this, Jack feels bad for Veronica. After a while, Jack came down and now sits near Grizzard who had brought him to his house. Jack says I have to go to my house tomorrow morning. My family will be worried about me and I have also talked to Veronica about this so that's why we will leave in the morning. Here, he also asks Grizzard about his kids on which he says no, I don't have any children. Hearing this, Jack feels weird and thinks then who were in those pictures he had seen. Anyway, he doesn't think much about these things because he had to leave for his house tomorrow morning and goes to sleep. When it is morning, he gets up and goes to Veronica's room first so that he can take her but when he goes there, he sees that she was not in the room. Now Grizzard comes to his house it was he tells Jack that Veronica left in the morning. She didn't tell you so that you don't get worried. Hearing this, Jack doubts Grizzard because he was nervous so he didn't believe him. He says, no, you are lying, how can she leave me like this? 
We had to go together. That's why he starts looking for Veronica all over the house. But he doesn't find her anywhere. Now Grizzard gives Jack Veronica's letter which she had written for Jack. He was convinced by seeing all this, but because of Veronica's leaving like this, he was sad. That's why he now starts walking from Grizzard's house but on the way, he sees something different in this letter. He takes out his diary and takes out the same page that Veronica had given him the night before. Here he finds out that both the writings are different means the letter Grizzard gave him was not written by Veronica. Now Jack understands that Grizzard is playing a game with him. Veronica had never left his house. He must have done something wrong to her. Then someone comes from behind and attacks Jack, which made him unconscious. After a while, when he comes to his senses, he finds himself in a truck in which dead animals were kept. An old man had kidnapped him. Now he ties Jack on a chair and puts food on the table and puts Jack next to it then starts taking pictures of him. Jack did not understand anything that why the old man was doing this. After that, he ties him up again, puts tape on his mouth, puts him in the truck again and takes him somewhere, and then he starts giving him injection of unconsciousness. Then he sees smoke coming out of his kitchen where something was burning. He quickly runs to his house. Taking advantage of this, Jack cuts the tape of his hands with a nail lying there and ran away. He runs and comes back to Grizzard's house because he had a doubt that Veronica is still in Grizzard's custody. He secretly sees that Grizzard and his wife are going somewhere in her car. As they leave, he comes to his house and starts looking for Veronica again. His doubt was proven right and finds Veronica locked in a room. He opens her quickly. Then the car was heard from outside. Grizzard and his wife had returned. Now Jack takes Veronica and runs out through the back door, but unfortunately, Grizzard's wife saw them running out of the window. He quickly sits in his car and follows them. Veronica came to a cabin with Jack and hid. While running they fall, Jack also gets a lot of injuries. Meanwhile, Jack notices this is the same cabin where the old man had kidnapped him and he ran away from here a while ago. Now the old man also comes there and asks who is here. Meanwhile, Jack and Veronica put his gun on him. The old man says to Jack, you are so stupid that you are not able to understand anything. What was Jack not able to understand? He was about to find out in a while. He shows the gun to the old man and tells him to go away from here. When he was moving back, his foot slips and a rod was pierced through his body due to which the old man dies. Here, Jack was also unconscious because of being injured here. Veronica gets an idea. She first covers Jack with a plastic sheet and then picks up a knife and kills the dead old man again so that he could not be alive again. Till now, Grizzard and his wife had also come here looking for him so this is where the big twist comes in the story. When Grizzard is called as Veronica's dad, means Veronica was Grizzard's daughter, they were all lying to Jack till now. So now all the secrets come out here and it turns out that Veronica was a psycho killer since childhood who used to get peace by killing people. First of all, she killed her younger brother. Her mom and dad also came to know about it but till now they didn't told anything to the police about this because after the death of their son, Veronica was their only daughter left means the story that Veronica told to her brother's story to Jack was fake. Until now Veronica was killing people and at the beginning we saw someone burying the dead body. All this was done by Veronica. We were shown from the beginning that there were signs of danger everywhere that the unknown man should not be lifted because for a long time, many people were killed in this area, and all of them were killed by Veronica. But no one knew anything about it except for her parents, they knew everything. So they planned to tie Veronica at home, but she ran away with the boy whom we saw at the beginning of the story, but the boy came to know that Veronica is not an ordinary person but a psycho so he left her on the way. At the same time, Grizzard who was constantly looking for his daughter Veronica met her on the same road with Jack. He lied to them and then brought them home that's why Veronica was worried that Jack might find out her truth, but her dad also kept quiet. After that, Grizzard tied Veronica at home and then gave the money to the old man and makes Jack kidnapped. He told him to leave her out of the town so that he could be saved. And my daughter will not kill him because of this. No one will ever know the truth about Veronica. This means that the old man, Grizzard and his wife were trying to save Jack till now. That's why the old man said that boy, you were so stupid. Now Jack had come to his senses. He comes in front of Grizzard's car with a gun and asks him to leave Veronica. Veronica also got out of the car and came to him and before her mom tells the truth to Jack. 
Veronica shot a gun and made her mom conscious, then ties her dad, Grizzard, with the tape. After that, Jack and Veronica run away with Grizzard's car. Jack was happy on the way that thank God he survived, but that madman did not know that he will face death now. He was happy because finally he will be able to meet his family. Jack sat quietly with his eyes closed and here. Veronica's hand was slowly moving towards the knife. This means she was about to kill Jack and after it, she will run away from here and go to such a place that her parents could not find her. Poor Jack did not know that the girl he is saving will become the cause of his death in the future. The story of this movie ends with this dark ending.